Kai Sinat is taking his talents to the NBA, and with the second pick in the draft, he's going to the Spurs. But while he's at the top of the streaming game, in the NBA, he's kind of at a disadvantage, height-wise. So every season, we're gonna help him out until eventually he wins a championship. All right, to start us off, we'll go 24 for Kobe, plus 20 ball handle. And Kai's actually starting off as an 81, so a plus 20 to that would be 101. Obviously, though, staying at a 99, but he's maxed out. And after that upgrade, Kai's now a 75 for his rookie season. But he's being coached by the old-school Greg Popovich, so like many great players before him, he would start off on the bench. He would still remain productive though, averaging 10 points and 4 assists, but the Spurs would still miss the playoffs. Upgrade number 2, you know what, we'll go 8 for Kobe for a second time, and we're getting a second ball handling boost. Okay, obviously he's maxed out, we can't repeat that. We'll go at number 4, why not, right in the middle, plus 20 to all defense, and that's probably one of the most useful upgrades Kai could have gotten. He's now up to a 78, but unfortunately Greg Popovich still has him coming off the bench, and even though his stats would be slightly improved from the last season, he would still unfortunately miss the playoffs. We're now on to upgrade number 3. We're kind of speeding through this a little bit, we'll open up 2, plus 20 to all playmaking, and you know what we'll go right next to it number six all shooting badges on silver and it's safe to say those upgrades were useful because kai would have his best season yet but there's one major problem despite kai's dominance his teammates would struggle again and that would mean for the fourth straight time he would be missing the playoffs but in the meantime there would be someone else putting in work preparing to get to the nba but that's for later we'll go with number nine and we're getting a plus 10 dunk okay not bad and then we're getting another plus 10 dunk okay not bad can we get three in a row okay his ball handles maxed out we're opening up one more you know what we'll keep going in order and now we're maxing out his speed perfect which would officially make kai the fastest player in the league and he can dunk it a little bit Bit. The only thing missing is a playoff appearance, but Kai would have the chance to make it if he can win in the play-in. Only problem is, he's up against Kyrie and the Mavs, and while the two of them have a great friendship, they would have to put it aside for at least one game. Kai getting the screen from Claxton, Kai driving to the basket, the step back, short jumper, it's good, and Kai has 20 points right now, but he has to guard Luka, which probably, they should probably put him on somebody else. Luka shoots it over him, and he misses. They pass it to Kai in the paint, Kai driving in, okay, Luka can't guard him, and Kai's going to the line for two, he makes the first, okay. And the second to make it a one-point game, he makes it. All right, we have a one-point game in the play-in. Kyrie with the ball. Kyrie gonna pass it down to Luca, and there it is. There's the post-up. Claxton, somebody send a double, please. Please shoot it. Shoot it, Kai. Shoot it, Kai. The step back, the pull-up. He misses it. Running out of time, three-point game. And Kuzma with the cross. Kuzma puts it up on Kai, and that one, it's not looking too good right now. Kyrie would eventually go to the line and hit a bunch of free throws, which means that Kai officially has lost the first game of the play-in. But he has one more play-in game before he's eliminated, and now he's He's up against Dame, who also has no help. So of course Dame's getting his 30, but Kai would respond with 22 and 8 of his own. And most importantly, he would win the second play-in game. So now he's officially in the playoffs. But it wouldn't last long. At least we kind of made some progress. Or actually, not kinda. We made a lot of progress. We'll go number one. All defensive badges on silver. That's definitely going to be useful. And then we're getting another dunk boost. And for the third and final upgrade. For now at least. For now at least. We're gonna upgrade him again later. We're putting all the playmaking badges on silver. And now Kai is officially into the 90s. And he would explode this season for 25 points per game and he would be named to the all-star team for the first time and of course he's showing out in the main event but the question remains would he be in the playoffs and the answer yes he would and the first round against okc would be no problem for him but the second round against denver the team that eliminated him last season would be a bit more challenging and by that i mean he went down two to one but game four kai would show out and most importantly he would tie up the series two to two 26 five and six pretty much what we needed game five would be played back in san antonio though and kai would keep that momentum up. He would go off in front of the home fans to take a 3-2 series lead. Kai had 43-9-4, okay. And at this point, there's no stopping him. 26 points in game six, and now he's moving on to the Western Conference Finals. But waiting for him in Houston would be 92 overall Tyrese Halliburton. And the rest of the team looks pretty solid too. Jabari Smith's a 90, and standing at 6'5", it might have been too much for Kai. after five games unfortunately he'd be heading home which means we're now up to upgrade board number two every upgrade on here is even better than the first but there's a 50 percent chance we get a downgrade instead i don't know why we'll start off with number two and now okay we're maxing out an entire category of badges and i really want to see kai be able to dunk so i'm upgrading all of his inside scoring badges and kai at a 93 overall is now in the top 10 of all point guards but again his teammates will let him down so by the time the playoffs came around he wouldn't be in there for long what how
Just please don't give us a downgrade. And okay, we're maxing out five attributes this time. This one could be really good. And it really was because Kai would now have a max dunk, standing dunk, layup, three, and perimeter defense. So for the first round of the playoffs, even though his teammates still aren't that good, Kai was able to dominate, eliminating the Clippers in six games. And to be honest, before that series even started, I was a little worried. Oh my God, bro. Fox, Hero, Ingram. So at that point, if Kai can take down that trio, then the second round shouldn't be much of a problem. And it would show he would win game one and then lose game two, lose game three and lose game four. But eventually it became clear that it's not Kai's fault. It's definitely his teammates selling him, but unfortunately it's a team game, which would mean that Kai would be eliminated in the second round. That's so bad, man. Okay, if we get a downgrade right now, we might, honestly, we might be cooked. And there it is, minus 20 to all shooting stats. And I'll make this short. Even though he was getting downgraded, pretty much every team still wanted to sign Kai in free agency. 2.5 million what? Dollars. Oh my God. <laughs> and eventually he'd wind up with the Bulls, which would be a horrible choice. And I think we missed the playoffs. Yep, we didn't even make it into the play-in, unless I'm blind. And unfortunately after that, Kai would get downgraded again. Minus 20 to all athleticism would be no joke. Bro, we missed the playoffs again. What was once a 97 overall is now down to a 90. But Kai's still really good, averaging 22 points and eight assists. The main problem are his teammates. They're not helping. Oh my God, bro. Look, look at how many losses. What kind of losing streak is this? And obviously, as you would expect, he would miss the playoffs again. And now entering his 12th season, it's clear he needs to do some recruiting. I've been here since 12.30. I said, where is Lil Uzi Vert? Why is he taking so long? Stop it! Stop it! All right, and the Bulls are the third seed, so respectable. We're up against Toronto. They have Jalen Green and the rest, I have no idea. And of course, the newly formed duo of Kai and Uzi would take care of the Raptors in round one. They would also take care of the Wizards in round two. But when it came to the conference finals against the Pistons, they lost in seven. But instead of being upset, the two were optimistic since that's massive progress to be made, which would explain why the next season they made it to the finals. And the only player on the roster really that I know, well, obviously Anthony Edwards and Mikey Williams. And fortunately for Kai and Uzi, Uzi, they have home court, which they would protect in game one. But Anthony Edwards has a massive size advantage over the two, which explains why the Bulls will lose games two and three. And in order to avoid going down 3-1, Kai and Uzi would have to go on the road and close out a close one. Somebody please get on Ant-Man. Oh my God, bro, why is he open? Why is he so open? Bro, there's less than a minute left. Someone do something, someone do something, someone do something. That's a foul, and one. He made the first, and the second one is good. One point game. Someone please get on Ant-Man, Ant-Man pulls up he's about to miss that all right get ready can we get into the offense a little faster man there's 10 seconds left and nothing's happened come on kai all the way all the way the pull up he's blocked that's a foul that's literally a foul oh my god somebody foul him someone foul him somebody foul him someone should steal it actually all right they pass it over to the dude with the headband first free throw oh my god is that the larry bird he missed it all right and the bulls only have one timeout left or i mean not only i mean what are they gonna do with two all right all right he missed both he missed both the stage is set seven seconds left a three one lead on the line come on come on five four three yo why are we just standing around hello Uzi. oh my god oh my god he made it let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go do not do not let them score with 0.4 seconds left please don't bro something might be flying a controller might be flying if he hits that shot all right they're tying up the series 2-2 and of course after that kai and uzi have all the momentum or at least it seemed that way oh my god bro it's a 50 point game what just happened oh my god they lost by 160 points just as i thought it was going well the bulls are down 3-2 and for some reason in game six they got cooked again just a horrible turn of events. I don't want to watch this. The only thing Kai and Uzi can do is make it back to the finals, which they did. But if there's one thing the two are lacking, it's height, which makes a certain someone on the Clippers extremely scary. They have Wemby, bro. And standing at 7-4, there's really not much to do with them. But Kai and Uzi are stars, so even though they're on the road in LA, they're comfortable and they would take a 2-0 lead. And that was probably the best start possible for the two. All they have to do is protect home court and they would do that in game three. Oh my God, they pulled away in the fourth quarter. All right. There we go 22 point win and i accidentally backed out of the box score but 36 and 31 for the both of them <laughs> just like that we have a 3-0 lead that's a little insane but there's a reason we're in season 14 and that's because no lead is safe the seven foot four Wemby with 36 and 14 and the clippers 
are showing signs of life, and they're about to blow a 3-0 lead, or at least that's the start of it. And heading back to LA, Wemby wouldn't stop. Oh my god, bro, why? Like, look at this tall... Oh my god, bro. He's 7'5", and he's running off screens like that. He has 35 points. Okay, they miss the shot, and they tip it out. Come on, man, please. Somebody grab the rebound. Somebody, somebody grab the rebound. And all of a sudden, the 3-0 lead is now down to 3-2. Kai and Uzi are still one game away from a title, but even though they have a late lead, it's not over. Come on, somebody has to do something. Driving to the basket. Where is Wemby? He's not protecting it, and there he is at the last second. All right, here we go, here we go. They set the pick. They throw it down to him. They almost get the steal, and he puts it up. Man, he's too tall, man. Uzi, Uzi, over to Kai. Kai, couple dribbles. The ISO at the elbow. The spin move, driving to the basket. The layup, it's good. All right. Come on, one more stop. One more stop. Maybe not one more stop. A couple more stops. There's still plenty of time. Wemby in the paint. Wemby just bullying his way to the basket. I don't think we have ever seen him miss. Kai with the ball. Kai driving to the basket. Kai fouled. Okay. Now, my main concern is we did have to downgrade his shooting earlier. He makes a first, but he might, he might miss a second. I'm hoping he makes it. He made it. He made it. He made it. All right. Come on. Seven point game. They're about to throw it into Wemby. Yup. They throw it into him. They kick it out to the three point. Who is that? Who is that? He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Oh my God. Who is that? Is that Denny? Bro. Why did they, why did they, why did they pass it to him? Now they're about to give up a bucket on the fast break. Tyler Hero with the ball. He shoots it over. Over Uzi up. Okay, man. No lead is safe. Literally, no lead is safe. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I thought that was good. All right. Just make one. Just make one. Just make one. One, one, one. All right. We'll take it. One stop. No threes. No threes. No threes. No threes. They pass it out to the three. They pass out. They were open there for a second, and there's Wemby. He's probably making that. He's he's different. He's different. He's different. He's different. But we're going to the line again, and Uzi misses another one. Why? Why? Bro, he's literally 94% in the playoffs and 97 in the regular season. Why is he missing right now? That's literally, that's the million-dollar question. Five-point game. Anything can happen, but they really just need one stop. And they throw it into Wemby in the corner. Wemby with a pump fake. He still has some space. He missed it. They grabbed the board. And that should be it. And after a couple made free throws, it really started to sink in. It's over. It's literally over. Doesn't matter if he hits that. Doesn't matter. He missed that badly. And with that, Kai and Uzi are finally NBA champions. Honestly, out of all the simulations, this one might be the best because it took so long. But what if we put speed in the NBA? Would it be any different? And how long would it take for him to win a championship? If you want to know the answer to that question, click the video on the screen.